Well, from an online apparel business to a college mascot, Southeast Kansas has a thing for greyhounds. In fact, the state of Kansas is widely recognized in the greyhound world, particularly in greyhound racing. I design and create apparel with greyhound motifs on them and sell them to people who race greyhounds and who adopt greyhounds. For as long as she can remember, Susan Horner has loved greyhounds. Well, I love the dogs. They're beautiful, sweet, mellow dogs. You'd think that they're, you know, hyper because they do love to run. After all, she lives in the right place. Kansas is the heart of dog racing. There's just no other way of putting it. This is Christine, another greyhound lover. It has the most dogs bred for racing anywhere in the country. Um, it is the home of the National Greyhound Association and even hosts the NGA Greyhound Hall of Fame. A little background on this, dog racing was legalized in 1986 under the Kansas Paramutual Racing Act. Now, shortly after, three racetracks opened around the state, including Camptown Racing Track in Frontenac. By 1990, close to a quarter of a billion dollars was being bet on live greyhound racing in the state of Kansas. But while the popularity of the sport grew, so did the concern for the well-being of the dogs. In 2001, Christine co-founded Grey 2K, an organization that spent the past 20 years lobbying to make dog racing illegal in the United States. Since then, tracks have closed around the country, and dog racing is currently illegal in 41 states. In Kansas, awareness sparked a 20-year downward trend in that amount spent on live greyhound racing, with all three tracks closing their doors by 2008. It was kind of being phased out in Kansas because it was kind of right as I was coming on board with the Racing and Gaming Commission. It's just been a long time since we've had racing in Kansas. But while the live dog racing has stopped, the sport is still technically legal in Kansas, and the Sunflower State remains one of the breeding grounds for the greyhound world. These dogs are highly linked with opioids and steroids because the trainers, unfortunately, cheating is a big part of the races. And for the dogs to race and to win races, they've been found with these in their systems because it builds muscle mass and will make them run a few more races. Recently, two bills, Kansas State Senate Bill 262 and State House Bill 2199, have been introduced within the last few weeks. House Bill 2199 covers sports wagering in the state as a whole. Leaders from state chapters of the Humane Society testified virtually in front of members of the state house last week, concerned that the bill indirectly opens the door for the sport's return. If they want to do sports wagering on football games at casinos, anything like that, that's their own business. The only reason that us, other Kansas Humane Societies, and the United States Humane Society are getting involved because we see the loopholes that Greyhound Racing could come back. Senate Bill 262, introduced shortly after, directly addresses that possibility. If passed, it would make racing greyhounds and any wagering on greyhound races illegal in the state of Kansas. While there's still more that needs to happen before a vote on either bill, it could come in the next few weeks. A pivotal moment for greyhound lovers on both sides of the conversation. I, I understand where people are coming from with those concerns, but if they are really educated and really see what's happening, I think that they would be less concerned. It's something we're going to fight for. There's a reason for it. We're going to be the voice for these voiceless. You know, if racing does come back, I'm sure we'll have a, have a lot of work to do.